Hello, in this video I will give you an outline of the high level introduction to zero knowledge in SNARKs, the new course that video course that we will be delivering. My name is Jeroen van der Graaf, I will be the tutor of this course. So, what is this all about? I'm going to read this, a very unusual, I'm reading stuff, but in this case I think it's appropriate. So, zero knowledge has become a new buzzword in the blockchain world, even though not everybody seems to know what the term means. While zero knowledge engineers are in high demand and are paid very well. A tremendous amount of information about zero knowledge is available, blog posts, videos, lists of links, etc. But most of it is unorganized, so it becomes overwhelming and intimidating. It seems they often suppose you already know what zero knowledge is. This online course is an attempt to bridge this gap. We assume you are a programmer or other professional with some technical background and want to learn what zero knowledge is all about. It is somewhat of a journey, but after this course, you will be able to watch more advanced videos such as the Stanford Berkeley online course or the Zero Knowledge Study Club playlist. Or maybe you find your own way in this avalanche of information. So what are the goals of this course? Um, well, we're going to start with some cryptography. This is to, um, to make sure we're on the same page. I want you to understand what exactly a proof is, what the word proof means. <clears throat> understand the original definition of zero knowledge. You have a high level understanding of verifiable computation. Um, in particular, that you know what a succinct proof is. Understand what the roles of polynomials are in this context. Understand what the word snark means. And at the end, we will be talking about arithmetization methods such as R1CS, Planck, Stark, etc. And we will also discuss the idea of a zero knowledge rollup. So, my name is Jeroen van der Graaf. Um, I have a master's in mathematics. I then did a PhD in quantum cryptography in, in Montreal, and currently I'm a professor of cryptography at the Universidade Federal de Minas Gerais in, in Belo Horizonte, Brazil. I, there is this funny story, but in, in 1986 I went to a workshop in France where I saw Silvio Micali gave an impromptu talk about zero knowledge. I also saw of, uh, Adi Shamir explaining the Fiat Shamir heuristic. So I've been in, in this, uh, this area of zero knowledge already for a very, very long time. Um, and I was able to apply these ideas at some point to get the first zero knowledge protocol for discrete logarithm. Um, I did many other th things in, the, in this period, but I got back uh, into the zero knowledge area. Um, interested in, in SNARKs essentially since uh, 2020 and I'm currently as a, working as a consultant for GKM since November 2022. Um, so what is the course format and what is the time frame? We are going to make, I am going to make six uh, weekly videos of uh, about 60 minutes, 75 minutes. I cannot exactly say how long they are going to be. The idea is to finish all these videos by the end of the, this year. Um, maybe you will find 60 minutes listening to a person is, uh, is a long time. So each video will be clearly divided in segments. I, I cannot say maybe 10, 20, at most 25 minutes. It depends on the context. It's also for me, um, in, when I tape these videos, it's easy to, to divide it in segments. Um, so this is the list of the topics that we will be discussing. Um, so here, this is the basic of, of cryptography. I heard some, some criticism that maybe it's too many issues, but it also helps me, these, discussing these topics helps me to introduce you some information about groups, about um, multiplicative groups, modular prime numbers, etc. And if you already know all this, well, you just, you, you can skip the video. 
Um, then there will be a specific class, which actually may, be, may, may end up being shorter than 60 minutes, on the topic, what is a proof? We will start with the mathematical idea of a proof, then see how in computer science we, we deal with proofs, we have a statement, define what a witness is, that we have all these, these, these classes, proof systems, um, NP actually stands for um, non-deterministic polynomial time. IP stands for interactive proof, probably probabilistically checkable proofs, and interactive oracle proof. So these are the, the things that we are going to to analyze, um, and we are also uh, going to explain what it means to know something. Um, then I'm going to discuss you the original traditional definition of zero knowledge. Um, we are, I will do this using challenge response protocols. I'll present zero knowledge protocol for discrete logarithm. Talk about commitment schemes which are useful as a building block for uh, other protocols, for instance, for Hamiltonian circuit or for a Boolean circuit. Then I will talk about the use of polynomials. We will have to understand some of the underlying mathematics of finite fields, underlying mathematics of polynomials. This is important for you to be able to understand how polynomials are used uh, as written here at the last, the last item. Uh, polynomials are used for error amplification. And this is what's important because um, this, this error amplification allows us to create very efficient proof <coughs> to catch uh, dishonest parties in, in the proof systems. So, so this is uh, why we need to, to understand what is error amplification exactly, how it works, and then we will see how this is going to be used in SNARKs. We're going to look at what verifiable computation means um, we will be talking about low degree extension of polynomials. We will also, since polynomials are so important, we will be talking about polynomial commitment schemes, most importantly Fry and KZG. And then we will discuss some very basic examples of SNARKs, one for verifying the, the Fibonacci recurrence, which is sort of a, a <laughs> A favorite example of many um, many documents about explaining snarks, um, but we will also look on a, on a very small program using how you can make a snark for uh, CPU instructions, which is related to one of the projects that I'm involved with, uh, zero knowledge virtual machines, and then. The last class will be about arithmetization methods. Um, I, we will only scratch the surface of these ones. R1CS, Planck and Planky, Stark and Starky. And I will also discuss um, multivariate polynomials and the subject, which is a, a different approach from um, all the other previous approaches. So what is the target audience? Well, I, I assume that you are an insert programmer or another professional with at least some technical background, maybe not necessarily with a very strong math background. Um, this should not be too big of a problem because the focus is on understanding the concept. It's not on understanding rigorous mathematical proofs. Um, and so, yes, there will be some hand-waving and maybe some people will, will frown about that. Um, but you see, I think it's interesting approaches to, to discover things through programming, not exactly through math. Um, and there will be programming exercises using IPython or UPython notebook Galois with the Galois extension. Or maybe if you prefer, you can use Sage. Um, as, or, or the collab worksheet. Um, yeah, and for those people who really want to 
go into the mathematics. There is a book that will be a reference. It's not my book. Um, and, and you can go to the math yourself. Um, so what are some prerequisites? We suppose a maturity, some maturity in computer science and a general understanding of networks, programming languages, Boolean circuits. Um, and you should not be uh, too afraid of mathematics. There is no way you can understand this, this whole area if you are uh, reluctant to study uh, some of these math topics. Um, there will be some algebra and some number theory and, and there are also connections to probability theory, though that's very light, and, and some complexity theory. Um, so just some of my teaching principles, which I usually tell my students. Um, I'm trying to explain things as simple as possible, but not simpler, because I don't want to, um, to fool the student. I don't, I don't want to simplify things so that it isn't true anymore. Um, but on the other hand, I'm trying to, to simplify things and, 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 and find the balance so that the student is not overwhelmed by, by complexity. And so this is the other idea is that, well, I take care of the hard part, but the student needs to spend his own time and energy to organize and complement the knowledge in order to come through true understanding. It's not something that I alone can, can do for you. Um, there is some warning I'd like to, to make. The focus of this course is technical. It's not financial. All information is given in good faith. No information should be interpreted as an investment recommendation. Um, and I actually, I don't think the word investment here is appropriate because if we talk about buying crypt cryptocurrencies, this is not an investment, but it's a speculation. You risk losing all of your money. And this has already happened to many, many people. So please never buy cryptocurrencies with money intended for other purposes with money that you actually can't miss. Um, so what about course materials? All course materials uh, will be announced in the education hub of CKM's Discord server. Um, there's an invite link and you can use this QR code to, to scan it. Um, feel free to ask any questions or seek assistance through this Discord channel. There are, um, there will be assignments, mostly programming assignments, um, which can be submitted at points.zkm.io under the Education Hub category. You can earn ZKM points by successfully completing assignment, which also gives you the right to some uh, specific opportunities. There is a possibility to obtain uh, a certificate. The certificate will be given, issued in the form of an NFT. Um, but if you are not interested, you only want to see the, the video uh, aspect without doing the, all the exercises, you can just use the link that's written here. Um, and to end this, let me state some additional references that I've been using over the last decades in my classes on cryptography. I, from the very beginning, I used Tinson's book, which is a classical book about cryptography. Um, with some zero knowledge protocols in the final chapters. It is a algebraic approach, I would say. Unlike the next book, uh, the book by, by Paar and Pelzel, the approach is more of an engineer than of a mathematician. Um, so sometimes I do find the, the math somewhat uh, insufficient, but otherwise it's a very solid book, very useful book. It's an easy read. Um, you can find a PDF of this book online, which was uh, liberated during, during the pandemic. So you should be able to find this book online. Maybe the most interesting book is the Moon Math Manual. Um, 
This is a voluntary project um, and it essentially contains all the crypto you need to understand for SNARKs. So I would suggest that you consult this book when while you are doing this course. Um, then there is also a master thesis by Tran. Um, it's very useful. It, it goes specifically about, about SNARKs, uh, but you must take care. There are sometimes some minor mistakes. Then there's the, a book by, by Justin Taylor. This is an excellent book, but Taylor's approach is somewhat different from what um, I would say the market is using. It starts with, uh, for the beginning, with multivariate polynomials and, and some uh, complexity theory. So you should treat this book with, with some care. Um, then on their videos, which I, I love, there are the Stanford Berkeley online course. You, you can search for, for MOOC, M-O-O-C, which are, are lovely videos. They are excellent videos. And essentially my goal of, of these lectures is to bridge the gap so that after this course, you can go and watch um, this, this, this uh, online course from Stanford and Berkeley. Um, and then there is also the ZK Study Club on YouTube which is more advanced, by which I some, some I want to say that um, the <coughs> it's it's the the gloves are off. Um, there, the 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 there you are you are supposed to know zero knowledge. So so the difference with with Stanford Berkeley is that it's like it, it's um, well organized in an uh, educational thing. This ZK Study Club is like uh, very advanced topics. And that's the end of the presentation.